So this is the room that I'm moving into. We're priming it. So this is the before. to move my bookshelves to my new room so I'm gonna remove all the books from there Okay, hi guys, so it's 12 a.m. This is how it has came out so far. I still have to do so many things to my bedroom. I have to put a nightstand there that I'm gonna get. Um, I have to take this out right here. I don't want that. And then I have to fix my um, workstation. This is gonna be my workstation. Okay, hello friends. I just got my nightstand. I'm so excited. I am going to purchase my vanity and I still need to organize all of my skincare. back from the coffee shop I received my book of the month so I wanted to open it up with you guys I got the Cornellis of County down is it down yeah okay I I remember um I remember reading the synopsis and I remember that it was very interesting it's about this character who is released from prison after serving 18 months on a drug charge. She is now rebuilding her life at 30 years old with no money and no prospects. She returns home to live with her siblings. So I picked this book because it's gonna be about siblings and like having a relationship with your siblings and 
it just reminds me of my own siblings because I have such a good relationship with my siblings. <laughs> I keep repeating siblings. This is a book about building a new career and trying to hold a family together. I'm so excited to read this one and I'm so happy that I picked it. And then the bookmark, we welcome to the friend zone in a good way. Okay, so that's my book of the month. Today I am planning and fixing my skincare area. I still don't buy my vanity, but I hope to buy it very soon. So, oh, here's my Stephen King bookmark. I don't know if I should honestly like sell these again. Let me know what you think. I'm currently reading We All Want Impossible Things by Katherine Newman, and I am honestly really enjoying it. Actually, I mean, it's an okay book. It's kind of more slow paced, but it's about, I think I did tell you guys what it was about. This is a book about two best friends and one of them is dying from cancer. So she's in a hospice already and it just takes us through one of the characters of all the feelings and emotions she feels as she sees her best friend dying. So the book does reveal like their past and how they met. It's a very nice story. The main character is struggling with um, depression because she's sleeping with a lot of people. Um, she just divorced her husband. She has two older daughters. They reminisce on the past and everything that they have gone through in life. And I'm pretty sure that this book is going to make me cry because any like book that where a character is dying from cancer is very heartbreaking. Fuck cancer. I feel all the emotions that the characters feel, but I feel like it's more in the slow pace because I feel like it's very repetitive. It just sticks to one event and not a lot of things are happening right now. Um, I'm on page 91 and I have put this book down more than five times so that's pretty much what I'm reading right now. I did start listening to or reading listening to an audiobook. I forgot what it's called. So it, today is Sunday, July 19th, no, 16th, and I'm currently reading this book on Kindle. It's called, let me see, Your How, Your Plays Are Mine, and it's by, let me check, by Portia McIntosh, yeah, and I'm on chapter 16, page 109, I'm 39% in. And it started out kind of boring. It got pretty good, and then it is slightly kind of just like not a book that I want to read right now. So it's about two. It's about two housemates who don't have anywhere to live, so they are borrowing their friend's house. Her housemate is arrogant, messy, and he's very, very annoying claims the best room so she has to 
stay in a very like antique room which i'm like i'd love to stay there what she's gonna try to do is drive him out of the house and she is dating this other guy named dean and she just found out something about him and like that part i saw it coming but it was very like shocking i'm gonna keep reading Today is Friday, July 21st, and I am going to, well, I'm currently reading Every Summer After. I got new pajamas, they're so cute. But anyways, I've heard so many good things about this book. I'm sure I'm going to love it. July 22nd and my sister and I we went to Mundial I went to go get some matcha and I got two plants for my room I mean like every time that I buy plants I always end up giving it giving them to my mom I read some of every summer after yesterday and I am on page 23 it kind of reminds me of every other summer book talks about this girl named Percy they call her Percy and she's a 30 year old and she's recalling her life as a teenage girl and where she met this guy named Sam it does tell the story in flashbacks of of her life of her teenage years and how she fell in love with her neighbor Sam and how they were best friends and um in the present she receives a call from sam's brother that their mother passed away so now she's gonna go to the funeral and she's gonna she's going to see this guy sam who she truly loved but then broke up um and she hasn't seen him in like s i don't know 10 years and I feel like it's a perfect summer book because it does take place in a lake at a cottage. Thank you. 
I got back from work an hour ago and I just made myself some dinner. I made, I made some ground beef soft tacos. I'm gonna put some lettuce. July 29th. It is currently 10 14 p.m. I'm finishing up every summer after. I am on page 249 and I wanted I wanted to record my reaction to the ending of this book. The beginning I was like getting the summer I turned pretty um vibes. Percy is the main character. Percy and Sam. They're they have been best friends ever since they were small and then they start developing or they start liking each other and um i guess percy she lives in the city and every summer she goes to visit the lake because they have a cottage there at the so the story is going back and forth from 13 years ago and now as 30 year olds 30 year olds i guess something happened between them they were in a relationship and then something happened that really broke Sam's heart and that eventually led um, them to separating and not seeing each other for 12 years so I think they're about to tell us what happened all those years ago I, I was just drinking some sparkling water with in my wine cup Before she died, she said he'd meet you after. <laughs> I just really feel like it really like demonstrated how messy and heartbreaking first relationships are especially if you've known this person for a very long time I really liked it because I really resonated with Percy who is her main character um, there's a point in the story where they start dating he goes off to college and like, stops communicating with Percy because he's so busy with college things and stuff and he just wants to focus on um, having a good career. <laughs> 